It is September 14th, 2013, and we're looking at the ever-evolving Sugarloaf Alpaca Company. And it's late afternoon, actually early evening, about 7 o'clock. Here you can see our open sign for the alpaca shop and fiber studio, still not turned off but you can see the woodshed, so to speak, behind the uh, bed of the pickup truck there. That's a new addition to house all the things that had been in the basement in the garage. Now the garage doors are down. They're not yet quite permanently fixed in that uh, manner, but the windows are gonna be lowered so that uh, visitors to the farm will be able to look in at the spinning mill inside. And to the left of the house, uh, you can see the metal shed, uh, which houses our tumbler, uh, which is the first step in the spinning mill process. You can see the skirting table out here. And then inside you can see the tumbler tumbling, and Nancy's just collected all that uh, dirt on the floor. It gets a lot of dirt out. So let's go in and see the rest of the mill. There's one of our mill mistresses. Here's our washing machine. Recycler tank there in the background. We've got a load that just started. Here's our weighing table. There are three compartments in the washer and each of the compartments must be balanced to within uh, a couple tenths of an ounce to uh, keep them balanced. There in the background you can see the scanner, uh, which is sort of the last step in the process. And so we don't have to go back and forth in the rooms a lot. There's the drying racks in the back. This is a spinner plier here, a forehead spinner plier, which is where you take individual single strands of yarn and uh, make uh, two ply, three ply, and four ply yarn. You can see the dehumidifier there to try and keep the humidity level down keeping the storage area well ventilated. This is the coner and it's uh, you take the spindles which are there on the table and you can combine them onto a large cone. Uh, there is the steamer and the steamer uh, sets the twist in the yarn and uh, helps uh, retain the, uh, the memory of the yarn. Here's our dyeing table and in this vat here if it's little hot it is uh, today's concoction which is a dark green color absolutely gorgeous and see how we've got the fiber stacked where the uh, toilet used to be and we flip the side for the washer and dryer and we'll go now out into the mud room and you can see that we've moved the freezer and refrigerator to the mudroom. Um, when we get the uh, foam rubber moved, that's where the kids will put on their shoes in the morning, and you can see more fiber stacked in here. The uh, coat rack and uh, shoe repository right there. Now we'll go into the basement where the uh, heart of the mill is. Nothing is running, so it's a lot quieter than usual, but uh, you can see the workbench area is uh, still a disaster. Uh, Dad, you've got a lot of work cut out for you. Behind the uh, panel is a two horsepower dust collector system. And uh, as I step back, you can see how I've got ductwork run across the ceiling to the various points. So once the fiber is uh, washed and dried, then it comes over here to the picker and it separates it into uh, uh, individual strands and a kind of a cloud. And I had to construct that little room there. It's got uh, a vacuum system on it. The next step in the process is the fiber separator and it separates the fiber, uh, the fine fibers from the coarse fibers and both sets of fibers from vegetable matter. And so it's an important step in uh, cleaning the fiber. You can see the, uh, oh, we'll come back to the barrels. This uh, stage over here is uh, for the carter and it, again, it's a weighing station and everything has to be weighed out in three and a half pound or three and a half ounce increments 
or less that get distributed between those blue stripes on the conveyor belt there. But this is the carter and it's the uh, heart of uh, every fiber spinning mill. It's uh, where you create the rovings that then get spun into a single strand of, of yarn. You can go over here. You can see the new sub panel that we had uh, installed for all the equipment. Each piece of equipment is on its own separate circuit. And panning back around, there's more of the workbench that's disorganized. Uh, this is the uh, draw frame. It's where individual rovings that come out of the carter then get stretched further and made thinner uh, in advance of uh, spinning. So once they've gone through there a couple of times, through the draw frame a couple of times, the fiber is, uh, the rovings in the cans are stacked on the back side of the spinning machine, which is what we're looking at right now. And it comes up and over and comes down through, uh, you know, these, these spaces right here. And if the machine were running, first of all, it'd be very noisy. Uh, but this is an eight head spinner. And uh, each one of those spindles can do about uh, uh, two pounds an hour. And uh, that's kind of the, the gist of the mill. So we've got uh, blended fi blending fibers over here. We've got merino wool, uh, pre-dyed in, in various colors. And uh, as you pan, I pan back over here, you can see our air filtration system that we've got to uh, take care of the fine fibers that uh, float around. So that's a very quick look at the mill. I hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll look forward to seeing you here at uh, Sugarloaf Alpaca Company very soon. Bye.